youth to live so many things. But school has refused to provide us with buses, with um, transportation to leave this place. We know about like almost 50 students that have left from this Sumi uni um, Sumi to go to Port Harbor. At any amount, we do not care what they have left. Now they have decided to go and block that route. At this point, I don't know what is going on and we are not going to be used as base. Please, let Imagine. us go. Please, let us go. We do not want to be a part of your war. Please, thank you very much. All right, like I really had a very bad audio today, very bad, because the last explosion that happened took place close to my house. Funny enough, I was just in my kitchen trying to prepare something. I saw how my house shook, like I ran away from the kitchen and it's been very traumatizing. Trust me, you don't want to experience it. I'm just in the room, I'm alone. At every sound, I shiver. At every noise, I quake, like it's very bad. All we are asking is, can we cease fire? and let the student of Sumi move. Like everywhere is blocked. There's just something fishy about this whole thing I can't please. Please, we are calling on everybody to help get a lot of us out. We are many here. We are stranded and we are stuck. We appeal to you. Please help us. Thank you. Oh, what do we want? We want to go home. Thank you. I beg you, we want to go home. Ghanaians are here. We're a lot. We even have kids among us. We don't want to be here anymore. Please, nobody's going to pay me no amount to be in this war. Honestly. You guys not start it and I don't, I don't want to be part of it. Just come and take us home. We don't want to be here. Simple. Grace Nigeria students. Grace. Grace Nigeria students. Grace. Many of us here might not know this, but... Due to the situation, the government's not agreeing to help us. The Ukrainian government, Russian government, and our government are being stranded here. I and a few friends of mine yesterday we took a journey that was had very great risk. We used our private car and tried to go to Portava. Then Nigerians, we ran into the Russian military and we are fired upon. May I also that so please excuse me. It's not like that was not it. During during the process of trying to evade, like get away from them. One of our tires got bad. So basically, during that, we are stranded in the middle of nowhere. For a very, it's a miracle that I'm here now. And for me, to, I saw I saw a Russian force advancing towards the city. Most of you are now here. That was just two hours away from here. Those soldiers, they were looking ready to advance. Fresh uniforms, fresh supplies. The, the tanks were still clean. Every, the, that was a fresh force. And that's two hours away from here, if you don't know. Any moment, those people can be out. We cannot be here. We cannot be here yes. when those guys get here. The, yes. the world, the world, we are crying out for help. Sumi, Nigerian students, African students, foreigners, in that this is not our war. Yes. We need to leave this place. What I saw, like, if you saw what I saw, you will know that us, any single minute, every single second we spend here is a danger to the life of every single one of us. Great Nigerian students. Great. What do we want? We, we want, want to go. go. What do we want? We, we want to go home. We want to go home. I tell you the word that we want to go home. At, at this point, we don't care. United Nations, ECOWAS, NATO, Russia government, Ukraine government, Nigeria. We need. They should find a way. They are saying they are evacuating people. More than a thousand foreign students are still here in Sumi. So please, who are they evacuating? We don't know. Please, the incidents, the incidents of this morning to It's people. not just Western Africans, we're Southern Africans, we're all here stuck. Nobody's government has done anything for us, we've all just been here. No one's come in to do anything, no one's created a humanitarian corridor. If people are leaving, they're leaving on their own, by their own devices, by things they could do. Yes. Things that they provided, their own money. There's people that have spent their last trying to find money from anywhere just to get out of the city only for them to be sent back exactly only them for them to be sent back by ukrainian soldiers by russian soldiers i'm live too let's go guys
So why weren't our school, uh, why are like why these schools like um, provide buses for us to leave school? Like we're going to have to turn this shit around on school and the Ukrainian government. We are just saying the whole government. You know, yes, so okay. We're not pointing down to the one government. And that's you, I'll say they're on the go live too. We're going to have to stop somewhere here, and we're going to have to make it like. Move, let's go, go there. Yes, yes. Let's go to the sand We're going to turn back, turn back to the sand side. Turn, let's turn there. at all to do with this war early this morning 5 a.m 4 a.m we are woken up with how many bombs six it was six i counted each and every one of them six next thing we want to go home and they are telling us first of all they increase the price of taxi who pays almost two million naira to go back to Porta for a two-hour journey anybody that is hearing this from kaduna to abuja two hours you are telling me to pay a million naira that is not all. We said, okay, we are going to pay it. Now you have locked us in this hostel. Why? No, seriously, guys, what did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? We just came to, we just came to study medicine. We haven't showered in three days. Yes. There's no light in the hostel. There's nothing. We cannot, our, everything is running out. This place is not safe. Every single day, some of us have mental trauma. I, we can't even hear doors closing without someone running. Yes. Someone is moving a box and we are running. It's not fair on us. We have nothing to do with this war. This is not our country. If it was our country, if we were fighting for our country, we understand. Please and please, all we want to do is just to go home. We are in so much pain. We are in so much trauma. Many of us after this might not be able to live normally. Please and please, let us just go home at least. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Please, can you share? The thing is, for like the past two weeks now since this war has started, apparently there has been a route to leave Sumi since. But school has refused to provide us with buses, with um, transportation to leave this place. We know about like almost 50 students that have left from this Sumi uni, um, Sumi to go to Portava. At any amount, we do not care what they have left. Now they have decided to go and block that route. At this point, I don't know what is going on, and we are not going to be used as baits. Please, let you us you. go. Please, let us go. We do not want to be a part of your war. Please, thank you very much. 
all right like i really had a very bad audio today very bad because the last explosion that happened took place close to my house funny enough i was just in my kitchen trying to prepare something i saw how my house shook like i ran away from the kitchen and it's been very traumatizing trust me you don't want to experience it i'm just in the room i'm alone at every sound i shiver at every noise i quake like it's very bad all we are asking is can we cease fire and let the student of Sumi move? Yes. Like everywhere is blocked. There's just something fishy about this whole thing I can't place. Yes. Please, we are calling on everybody to help okay, get a lot of us out. out. We are many here. We are stranded and we are stuck. We appeal to you. Please help us. Thank you. Press two. Yes, so we are just asking that you let us go. How would you do this? You could reach agreements with the Ukrainian government, the Russian government, a serious agreement. Just create a humanitarian corridor so we can live here. We are tired. A lot of people are going to develop PSTD after this. And it's going to be very serious on this. Look at a lot of youth. Some of them are very young. Just consider this and let us go. We are not part of this. We didn't plan for this at all. And we've tried our best. Please give us humanitarian corridor so we can go. Thank you. Person, person. Fellow Nigerians, once again, what do we want? We want to go! Home. They told us, they said it's because they are paying us, that's why we are staying here. Hey. How much do you want to pay us? We are addressing the Nigerian government. Whatever thing is going on there, it's a lie. It's a ruse. We are not being paid. We want to come home. Contrary to what everybody is saying, why would you want to come home? The Nigerian government is saying that they've withdrawn all the students from Ukraine. We are still here. And we are not at the border. We are not in Poland. We are not anywhere. We are in Sumi. Sumi yes. And we are stuck in Sumi. Yes. This is day 10. People don't have water. People don't have lights in hostels. It's getting cold in the hostels. There is no food at this stage. We are running out of supplies. How long do we want to continue doing this? Whatever is going on, we are calling on the Nigerian government. We are calling on the, the, the Nigerian uh, Foreign Affairs Ministry. Please, what do we want? We want to go home. What do we want? We want to go home. Thank you. Please, please, please. I don't want to be here. His ex.